good morning and happy Sunday, I suppose. We got clouds and rain potential this afternoon. 38 degrees, 3 degrees Celsius currently. And the kids are in their jackets. Prius needs tightened up. <laughs> we got to get their Eddie Bowers out and get them on. Get them prepared for the winter. So, oh yeah. All right, well, I was on the phone twice last night with Xfinity to no avail whatsoever. First lady told me that the Samsung watch cannot send text messages with on, on mobile network, which is a complete and utter lie because the minute I search it on Google, it says, yes, Xfinity Mobile does allow the watches to text on, on mobile services. Um, so once I found that out, I called back again. I thought I had a better person. Um, she had me reset the watch and in the midst of the watch resetting, she hung up the phone call and never called me back. So Xfinity, you are on my shit list right now. Um, I don't think I'm going to, tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to go down and we are going to have a complete bitch fit at the store. I'm, I'm not dealing with these people anymore. The, the, the girl told me to use the assistant. The assistant is worthless in this matter and you can't understand what they're saying because there's so many people in the call center, all you hear is all the other conversations except for the person that you're on the phone with. Can you tell my frustration level? It still doesn't work. It took me till this morning to get the, to actually get Xfinity Mobile to work on the watch. And now the Google doesn't text. I'm livid. I, I just don't know what to do. I, 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 I was on Amazon this morning. I was so close. So close to just picking up a freaking Ultra 2, switching this watch over to a different line on the payment plan, and just setting my my iPhone back up on a, on an Ultra 2, just get the black one. But 800 freaking dollars, I, I shouldn't have to do that. Should not have to do that. I'm already wearing a freaking watch that has cellular service that should work. First of all, get these goddamn call centers in the U.S., Get people that you can understand and have it so that you're not overhearing everybody else's conversation. The technology is out there that you can block out background. Sorry, I'm just, I'm livid. I, I mean, you pay all this freaking money and stuff doesn't work. It's, it's annoying, very annoying. So the other issue I had yesterday, and it's, it's kind of peaking this morning too. I didn't make any changes on this mic setting and it wasn't connected last night. It was on, it, said, it showed it connected, but it was not running through the microphone. So I don't know what's going on with this mic. <sighs> it's one thing after another. Plus, I don't know what that noise with the car is. It didn't make it when I turned in, but when I hit this bump right here, oh, did it make a hellacious crack. It was like a, I don't even know how to describe it. It's almost like there's something broken when you hit bumps or make right hand turns into off camber. It puts weight over and it really messes up. It, it makes a, a really weird noise. So I'm in the middle of doing that when Terry came home and I go running downstairs and now we're in an argument. <laughs> it's one thing after another. I just, this watch thing has just got me just frustrated. I will, I will, I, I'm done. I, I literally will never buy a Samsung product ever again. I should have just got a Google watch. It probably would have just worked. It would have, it wouldn't have been Samsung health, but it would attract. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I, I'm just, I'm at my last wit's end. Oh, you know what? Let's walk over here. They actually had lights on last night when I came home with the doggies. And Priya's already like, I don't want to go this way. Guess what, kid? You're going this way. Come on. Bring your Eddie Bowers this way. <laughs> she goes, if you're going to face the camera to me, I'm going to grunt to you. <laughs> I'm not the only one coming down here checking things out. Oh, they got the light pole up. Cool. Um... One of the other neighbors was actually down here, and there's something on the door. It might give like a grand opening, so we're gonna check that out. See when that's gonna be. Yeah, that light pole is finally up. Looks like they've uh, done a little more landscaping here too. Come on, Priya, you gotta walk. I'm sure this will just all be. Yeah, well, they might plant some shrubs, but I don't think they'd plant them this time of year. I don't know. Yeah, see if we can see that there's a, an opening on this bad boy. Because when I looked at this store online to try to find out, didn't even show it. Didn't even show this store as being 
there. Which is kind of unusual. I think they'd be hiring at this point to get this place, uh, you know. But lights were on. It looks like the indoor, inside was pretty, pretty complete. You know, there's something on the door. Let's take a look. All right, so 3528 West 4th Street. Obviously, it's not. I don't know if you can really see in with the reflection. Building permit. No, that's that's all it is. Huh. Okay. They're not very big stores, that's for sure. But all right. We still got some things to do here. Electric. Oh, geez, I fell off the curb. Yeah, this is the lot that I'm talking about. Look at the slope over here. It's no park. Oh, okay, so this isn't the. This is like where you drive in, and then you can park. Not very much parking, that's for sure. These stores usually have tiny parking lots. What do you think, pup? Come on. But yeah. Well, I still think they'd want to be open for the holidays, especially if they're going to carry food. They'd want to get things up and running here pretty soon, but right now the store is empty. And Aaron messaged me last night, shots fired again, Fox Hollow Road, which is like five minutes away, right behind us. I don't know what the hell's going on around here. People and damn guns. I, I, I just... <laughs> if they used them for what, what they were supposed to, I would be all for it tyrant governments but they're they're just shooting you know other citizens that's no that's not i guess the, the report was over 30 shots fired that's not good and i'll have to see if i can find any more about it but that's two nights in a row that we've had now the other there was a, the other person was actually shot the night before on the 3600 block <coughs> which has got to be right down the road here <coughs> <coughs> Because he went to the hospital for gunshot wounds. <laughs> God. This world. Well, all right. After our third phone call, Infinity the Pixel. I don't even know if I got over this. I think I was having such an out-of-body experience I didn't even film anymore. The Pixel wouldn't even work. The Pixel was it was not connecting to Xfinity Mobile. They had me erase the SIM, reinstall it. Boom. That started working. And magically, so did this after that. So. <sighs> Thank goodness. All right, got a little bit of time until I can head over to my mom's, so really nothing else to do until then. I should just kind of relax, maybe take a little little 20 minute snooze or so and then get dressed for work. That'll be fun. <laughs> well, we're definitely getting into the uh, more of our weather. Actually, still a little bit on the warm side for November, I think. October is usually in the high 40s but uh yeah it's it's definitely cooling off so i'm all right with it i know my body's not adjusting well but you know until we get into those uh late january february months when it gets into the really cold freaking times that's what sucks but <laughs> uh but my sinuses are a mess sucks i don't know all right, off to my mom's. I'm glad I got a hold of Xfinity and finally got someone that could fix my problems because that was uh, truly frustrating. And the fact that the first lady tells me that, you know, oh, that, that doesn't work, you can't do that. I search it and it comes up, you sure can do it. And then second lady didn't argue with it, but then hung up on me. And then this one tried to tell me the same thing. I was like, that's not true. That is not true. Samsung on Xfinity can text. Makes no sense that it can call and can't text. So. But I'm not sure if he racing the other SIM card and I don't know what made the watch work. I really don't. I turned off Wi-Fi and I turned off Bluetooth and messages started going through. <laughs> okay. Because I wanted to erase the SIM card on, on the watch and reinstall it. And we didn't quite get that far before it started working. Oh, someone's trash is blown across the, the road. Awesome. Uh, eh, 
would be there probably a couple minutes before mom. I want to see if she wants to go for breakfast. I need to eat something more than a turkey and cheese roll up. So that was the last three pieces of cheese and the, well, four. The dogs got one. <laughs> Part of one. Uh, both of them were very, very disappointing because Mateo kept looking at me like, are we going somewhere? No. <laughs> Tomorrow we can go somewhere. Where? I don't know. Don't need to go to Xfinity anymore. That's a good thing. Oh, yeah. Well, I hope everybody's having a good Sunday. If you enjoy football or craps car, I'm telling you, NASCAR. It was, someone actually made a video yesterday that was posted about each one of Joey Logano's championships. This is his most undeserving championship four visits ever, and the rest of them have been pretty pathetic. Um... This is why this format is total horseshit. The guys that, you know, actually deserve to be in the championship chase are out. And you got a bunch of, you got Ryan Blaney and Logano. Byron had a, a decent season, but it's, uh, yeah. Reddick, I don't know. Part of me feels like Reddick, yeah, Reddick was up there too. Reddick, the two of them belong, the other two don't. And it'll probably be one of the other two that won the championship, and it's not deserved by either of them. And there's talk that 2311 may not even be in NASCAR next year because they re because of the lawsuit against NASCAR. Um, yeah. So Bubba Wallace and Tyler Reddick might not even have rides next year because they wouldn't sign the uh, charter thing because it's total BS with NASCAR monopolizing the sport. I hope they get handed their heads because... The way they what they've done to the sport has ruined. It. Holy shit! Holy shit! It's a crap truck by Tesla. I wonder if they're gonna have a fire sale there soon. <laughs> I can't believe someone in the area actually bought one of those pieces of junk. There has so, been so many recalls. I think they're not calling it a recall, but the last thing I saw was that they're replacing all, motors in all of them because of an issue. Because they're junk. <laughs> Some of these uh, channels that have billions of dollars, they buy these vehicles, like these high-end cars, and they're they're not put together well. And Tesla is among the worst assembled vehicles that they've had. So it's crazy. Uh, where are you going, dude? We're having races out here. Holy shit. All right, this is dangerous. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, speaking of billions of dollars, so I'm a big follower of Mr. Who's the Boss. I've mentioned his channel numerous times in videos. Well, in their culture, because they're over in India, or well, they're Indian, um, they live in their they live in their height their their family home until they get married. Well, him and his longtime fiance just got married. The house they bought in London. If you get a chance to watch his video, holy shit! I mean, oh, I definitely have picked the wrong genre of videos to make. That is for damn sure. And I mean, Tim's pointed out. He goes, "Your review videos do way better than your vlogs." Of course they do. <laughs> um, just a, this this past month, a couple of the just off the wall videos, I've got you know hundreds of views, whereas I can't cross like forty on a normal day. It is somewhat frustrating, and that's why I don't look at numbers. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't keep doing this. Alrighty, well that was a nice visit. Denny's for breakfast. I treated my. I splurged. I had the T-bone steak and eggs, and I made an omelet. <laughs> I ate everything. And finished mom's. <laughs> She's like, I'm not taking that with me. It's going with us one way or the other. <laughs> oh, man. I'm full now. It feels like I haven't eaten in a really long time. All I had was one of the, like I said, the scallop pancakes and some fried rice last night. Oh, my. Yeah, it was, uh, it was yummy. And it's starting to drizzle. We need it so bad. 
I really, really have got to take the time and clean the inside of this windshield. Right now it's not too bad, but it's just, I don't know, I think it's causing the reflection to be even worse. Oh, oh man. Yeah, it's a, it's a dreary Sunday. I don't know what all these is, is like on a rainy Sunday, because Sundays are our busiest day. Now, I do have three of us tonight, so technically we should get out of there probably around 8 o'clock, 8.15. But if I can get everybody moving, get aisles done, it'll be good. So, oh, find out when I get there. <clears throat> I know Walmart on a on a rainy day is <laughs> nuts land. So glad I'm not there, especially this time of year, because their Christmas is already kicked in. And when I stopped and it's like, oh dear God. I'm glad I'm not having to put up with that this year. I think I'm gonna go the way I normally go. Go through town. It just seems to me a smarter option. Don't go down through town long, but instead of backtracking, come back around, just make my way. Are you stopping there or are you turning? I'm not sure what you're doing. You're stopping there. Okay. Shouldn't be stopping at the stop sign. Or parking at the stop sign, I should say. I'm not in a big hurry. I got 16 minutes. I don't know why I'm rushing. I'm always a little bit nervous when it's like, oh, I got to be to work at such and such time. <laughs> We've got it. I made sure I got out of there in time. Yeah, just do a little bit down through here. I'm going to have to do some research because I was always under the impression this dip up here was like, it, it used to be like a crossing of some sort. We haven't quite gotten to it yet. We're about to, or that van just came up out of. But it doesn't seem like it's deep enough to fit much under. I, I don't know if there used to be a bridge here, and of course they've paved it and brought it up. I don't know if there's any historical photos or anything of that. Maybe one of my local viewers can, Aaron, I'm looking at you, buddy, can find something about it. Because he found me that other bridge that used to be across over by the ballpark. Uh, I find it kind of funny how relationships change your habits of places you go. I'm not sure if you can see Starbucks right next to me here, but when I was with Unmentionable, I was like the, the hangout. And now I haven't been to Starbucks in forever, it feels like. I think last year, one time or I stopped at Starbucks because they had some sort of special drink I picked up for my one associate and I. It's just crazy how you you change your habits by you know <laughs> what your other half is into it's like you know thrift stores and food shopping stuff like that but oh, right now no shopping that's where I'm at no Apple watches no cameras no drones nothing Need to get myself in a better financial situation. Lottery would be good. gonna go all right everybody well, safe to work I will catch you guys tomorrow thanks for watching have a good night stay safe